From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's evenings LA Late, and millions of Americans await the arrival of their $1,400 third stimulus check in their bank account. You have maybe have not received it by the end of today, the day after St. Patrick's Day, but the luck of the Irish may give you the stimulus check tomorrow. More stimulus checks may end in bank accounts tomorrow. And new indications suggest they may also be landing in bank accounts next week. When is your $14 third stimulus check still landing by direct deposit? And what about Direct Express? What's going on with that Direct Express card? And if you're on SSI and SSDI, when are you getting your $14 third stimulus check? I'll have all the details in this video of Evenings LA. Meantime, a new video from Chuck Schumer talking about the need for stimulus. The White House releases a video today from a press team talking about the importance of stimulus. The president reassures the American people you're all getting your stimulus checks within the next few days. The vice president speaks late today about stimulus and women. And the Federal Reserve late yesterday said of the importance to support this economy until we go into the end of next year. Meantime, this shocking video went viral in a way in the wrong direction on YouTube. What happened? It got 2,000 dislikes and very few likes. What was discussed? For stimulus and raising your taxes. Yes, there's a lot happening from the West Coast to the East Coast. It's evening's LL8, and the excitement starts across the board right now as evening's LL8 gets underway. It's a big evening of evenings at a light. And boy, it won't cost you a penny to watch because <laughs> I'm not raising your taxes. But is someone else? That shocking development later in this video. But how are you? The nation awakes tomorrow morning. And could a $1,400 third stimulus check be in their bank account? Yes. How are you? Good evening. <laughs> Recuperating still from St. Patrick's Day. Hope the luck of the Irish could bring your stimulus check tomorrow. Why? Because millions of Americans still did not receive it today, March 18th, and more can get it tomorrow, March 19th. Meantime, what's going on with that Direct Express card from Comerca? And also what's happening if you're on SSI and SSDI? When are you getting your stimulus check? If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss a single video throughout the day. I'm updating around the clock, and guess what? I'm back with you at 7 o'clock with Hazard Pay. 10 o'clock on the East Coast. That's a tape show with a chatterama. So jump into the live chat with me on that one. Also, join me tomorrow morning on Early Mornings L8. It's at eight o'clock. It's at four o'clock on the West Coast. Excuse me, five o'clock. No, four o'clock on the West Coast. Seven o'clock on the East Coast. And if you're not consider becoming a member, consider joining. The link is in the chat. All right, let me go over the banks that are paying 14 dollars third stimulus check to viewers this channel. They are the following. Citizens Bank has paid stimulus check to some viewers this channel, along with PNG, Bancorp Chime, PayPal, NetSpend, Get Dot, Green Dot, People's United, and U.S. Bank are among those banks that have paid stimulus check to viewers this channel, even if they're on SSI or SSDI or not. And some of them paid yesterday, some paid today, and more may pay tomorrow. Here's more of the list. U.S. Bank, PNC, Capital One Bank, Union Bank, USAA, Metabank, Amex Bluebird, Navy Federal, H&R Block Emerald Card, Bank America, Chase, and Wells Fargo. So there you go. A lot of banks have paid out stimulus checks. If you heard your bank in that list but have not received your stimulus check, don't worry, more are coming tomorrow. The banks are processing the stimulus checks and posting them throughout the day. So if you wake up tomorrow morning and you don't see a posting, don't worry, because this list grows a lot in the middle of the day. It doesn't grow in the mornings. Banks 
do receive funds overnight, but they often don't indicate the available uh, the availability of the funds until the middle of the day. So you got all of to, to today, tomorrow, to the end of tomorrow to see if the funds post. But here's the message I've been delivering to viewers. If you don't see the stimulus check post by the end of Friday, start watching the U.S. mail because guess what? It might be in the mail. More about that in a second. But here's who the people who should be receiving the stimulus checks by electronic receipt. First, people receive the first stimulus check by electronic receipt. Second, people on SSI, SSDI, Social Security or Railroad Benefits, and receive their stimulus excuse me, receive their benefits monthly by direct deposit. That includes people who receive it into a bank account like a Bank America or people who receive it into a direct express card. Third, people who uh, are waiting for stimulus per a 2020 tax return. Now, this is something you only hear on this channel because it's really just new today. Last night, I learned from viewers of this channel who filed their 2020 tax return in late February or mid-February, as soon as the 2020 window opened, got and updated their bank account information for direct deposit, it worked. So they did get their stimulus check yesterday and today. Now, if you filed your 2020 tax return in late February, early March, this may not work for you. So what should you know going into tomorrow? First, the stimulus check could land. When would it land? What about that direct express card? And what about the weekend? And what about paper checks? I have all those details coming up in a second. But first, let's go back over what the president said just two days ago about the landing of your stimulus check and the routing times. This message was referring to the days since the bill became law. Since the bill became law, it became law a week ago today, and the president says within ten days you will get the stimulus check, even by paper check. Here's the president's message: We're going to reach two goals in the next ten days: a hundred million shots in people's arms, hundred million shots, and a hundred million checks of fourteen hundred dollars or more in people's pockets within the next 10 days. We're on the way. Help is on the way. Help is on the two way. Goals in the and next that 10 was days. the message the White House wanted to deliver yesterday and again today. During today's press briefings, the Vice President spoke as well. And she spoke about the need for stimulus and the role of women during this pandemic and the economy. In the course of the pandemic, over 2 million women left the workforce. And um, most of whom d d did not want to leave the workforce for a variety of reasons that are both about economic but also their professional and, 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 and goals around just the, them appreciating the dignity of work and, and their work ethic. Um, it has highlighted in many ways this pandemic the failures and the fissures in our system on every level, including women in the workforce and the workforce in general, both around paid leave, sick leave, um, family leave, affordable child care. And, um, and so all of these are the issues that we have been working on together for years, but that you in particular, these leaders have been fighting for, for dare I say, for on, on behalf of generations of workers in America. And so. And that message was continued throughout the day from a press state release video from the White House communications director also a message from the Federal Reserve, but a shocking message from the White House that was negatively received. And what did it concern your money? Meantime, a little bit from Chuck Schumer as well. I have all those videos coming up, but let me cut back to your third stimulus check. The arrival of your third stimulus check could continue tomorrow, but what should you think if you don't start seeing it tomorrow? This is my messaging to you. Start looking for it everywhere. What I've told viewers is the following. There's really two situations at hand. One are people who bank at banks where they have started to pay out stimulus checks and people who bank at banks where no one has got to the stimulus check. If you bank at banks like, let's say, Bank Corp Chime that started reporting deposits last Friday and you're watching this video on a Friday and you're wondering, well, wait a second. People have gotten it for a week. I haven't gotten my stimulus check. 
at that point, you really should be watching all the mechanisms of where the stimulus check may land. But if you're on Direct Express and you're saying, well, you know, I haven't gotten my stimulus check and no one else has, then you may feel a little bit more comfortable the situation that just Direct Express in general is slow. Here's my message to be cautious across the board. The stimulus check may land in a place in which you don't expect it. We saw that in the second stimulus, people were seeing stimulus checks appear in strange circumstances. Now, I can understand, you can understand, that if you have a representative payee, you may have to, have, have to watch the representative payee to see if they have your stimulus check. Or if you're an adult dependent, you would have to watch that the person you appear as a dependent on has your stimulus check. Also, if you're a husband and wife and one is on disability but one is not, or one is on Social Security but one is not, you may have to watch two different locations, where the husband gets the Social Security check, but where the joint filing, tax return, IRS direct deposit account is, it may be in different locations. So watch all the different accounts you may have. Also, watch all the accounts that maybe your daughter or child has that you may be listed on because maybe it's occurring in another place that you didn't think about. But what about the Direct Express card? It's remained a little bit of a mystery to the viewers of this channel. Not much progress. Since reporting on the arrival of the stimulus check since last Friday, not much progress on the Direct Express card underwritten by Comerca. Now, one viewer said their Direct Express card was underwritten by Commerce Bank. Another one said their Direct Express card was underwritten by Wells. The Wells customer said they showed it pending. The one by Commerce said it was not. And everyone that showed the Direct Express underwritten by Comerca had not received it by much of today. But two viewers showed it pending. Very peculiar. One showed it said maybe it's available. Wasn't very clear. And then there was that rumor. Now, I'm not big on rumors, and nor are you, but there is a rumor that some viewers have heard that perhaps the Direct Express deposits will be available on Monday. One viewer showed it pending for Wednesday next week, which doesn't make a lot of sense. Now, here's a message which I have to remind viewers, is that if you use the IRS Track My Stimulus Check tool, you're going to get wrong information. IRS's Track My Stimulus tool does not work. It doesn't work. And so while you may want to use it, it's going to yield incorrect information. It may tell you there's no information. It may not list anything about a stimulus check. Or it may just simply say, hey, <laughs> not quite sure where it is. Now, IRS a few days ago said that do not try to start filing amended returns to fix the third stimulus check or do anything with an amended return to fix the $10,200 of unemployment or the earned tax credit or the fifth or the $5,000 for the child? Well, guess what? In the last 24 other hours, the IRS has now announced that it's extending the, the time for personal tax returns by one month. This is as the White House has really sent the IRS in a, in a, in a flip because a lot of changes are impacting the 2020 return and the 2020 return as well. So the good news is do not fret, you have time to fix the situation. More about when you would likely get that stimulus check in a second. But here is a message from the White House delivered late today that expresses the importance of understanding what is in the third stimulus package. And here is what she had to say. The plan has passed Congress and President Biden signed it into law. So I'm gonna tell you about how it's gonna help you. This bill is gonna help families all over the country. It provides $1,400 checks in direct relief to the families who need it most. It provides the extension of unemployment insurance. So 11 million people in this country who otherwise would have lost their unemployment insurance in March are now gonna see that extended through the beginning of September. And they're going to also get an extra $300 a week. This bill also expands the child tax credit which means that families will receive a $3,600 benefit for every kid under six and a $3,000 benefit for every kid between six and 17. And this bill is going to help small businesses. The money in this bill provides access to capital, especially for minority-owned small businesses, 
to ensure that they can get through uh, this moment. In addition to those benefits, this is a bill that's going to fund a national vaccination program. So it's going to ensure that you can get a shot and that we get a little bit closer to the goal that President Biden laid out last week of getting this country one big step closer to normal by the 4th of July. So these are just some of the many ways that the American Rescue Plan is gonna help you and families like yours all across the country. If you want more information, you can go to www.whitehouse.gov slash American Rescue Plan. And I will have more information about the arrival of your $40 stimulus check by direct deposit shortly after this commercial break. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LA Late returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LA Late at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LA Late. And the excitement can continues tomorrow morning as well. As Mornings LA kicks into high gear at 4 a.m. Pacific Standard Time, 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. You do not want to miss a minute. Coming up later in this video is new statements from Jerome Powell, your Federal Reserve Chair, that goes over why more stimulus is needed. Statements from Chuck Schumer about stimulus and hazard pay. And the shocking statement from the White House that got negative reaction on YouTube why this video was negatively received, and what it said about forced stimulus and also taxes. All those details coming up. But how are you? <laughs> the evening is upon us. And any more green beer? No, hopefully you have, uh, not to next year for some green beer. <laughs> Off we go to the next holiday. How are you? Good evening. It is uh, just going into the, into the start of a weekend and hope you are good and safe. You, if you have not subscribed, I make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss a minute of informative, educational, fun, interactive broadcasting from this channel at any time. So make sure you subscribe. Also like this video. Let's try to get to two, three, four thousand likes. It really helps in the algorithm of the rankings of this video. The more likes you can get. And if you've not become a member, consider becoming a member. Tonight you will have a copy of that IRS statement um, in your PDF if you're a member. It'll be the first link that says, do not file amended returns. We're fixing things. That's IRS. Gotta love it. Well, a lot of details. And if you're just joining me, um, these are the banks that have paid out stimulus checks to viewers this channel. It's Citizens Bank, PNG, Bank Corp, Bank Chime, PayPal, NetSpend, Green Dot, People United, U.S. Bank, PNC, Capital One Bank, Union Bank, Metabank, Amex, Bluebird, Navy Federal Chase, Wells Fargo, Bank America, and USAA. But the banks that have not paid out stimulus are Comerca, Direct Express Card. Not particularly clear what's going on. So let me tell you what may be happening. It may be coming by paper check for some of you next week. Now, I don't think this yet applies to my Direct Express viewers, but everyone else, for example, let's say you bank at Bank America and you have not seen a stimulus check appear, it may be coming by paper check. If you bank at Chime and you heard me report last Friday that viewers got stimulus checks and you still don't have yours, it may be coming by paper check. Why am I reporting this? Because this is what happened 
the second stimulus. Countless viewers saw first stimulus arrive by direct deposit and assumed the second was coming by direct deposit. And it showed up in the mailbox? Yes. This is what you're only going to hear on this channel. Ira sent out a very sl small, not widely reported quote in December under second stimulus. It said, for reasons we don't know, we just decide to send out some stimulus, not to direct deposit recipients who received the first by direct deposit, but to paper check. And then they were asked why. They said, yeah, it just, just happens that way. And then they said it may also come by debit card. And then, there, then they added, oh, and by the way, if you got the first stimulus check by paper, it that may also come by debit card. Hard to say who and hard to say how. So my advice to you is watch the mail carefully until the end of next week. Because the paper check comes in a very, very thin beige envelope. It's so thin you could literally discard it in a breath. Second, the debit card envelope is almost as thin. It comes in a white envelope. You don't want to discard that as well. And guess what? The Wells, uh, the uh, Federal Reserve is ensuring that it's not discarding your stimulus. The Federal Reserve yesterday the, in the FOMC meeting said, guess what? Jobs are not back. Job creation is not back. Employment is not improved. Inflation is not a concern. And this economy needs more stimulus, and we're not changing our policies until, well, for a while, certainly not this year. Here was what the comments were by Federal Chairman Jerome Powell. Good afternoon. <clears throat> I would like to start by noting that it has been a full year since the pandemic arrived with force on our shores. Looking back, it was clear that addressing a fast-moving global pandemic would be plainly and primarily the realm of healthcare providers and experts. And we are grateful to them and to all the essential workers for their service and sacrifice. The danger to the U.S. economy was also clear. Congress provided by far the fastest and largest response to any post-war economic downturn, offering fiscal support for households, businesses, healthcare providers, and state and local governments. Here at the Federal Reserve, we rapidly deployed our full range of tools to provide relief and stability, to ensure that the recovery will be as strong as possible, and to limit lasting damage to the economy. We are strongly committed to achieving the monetary policy goals that Congress has given us, maximum employment and price stability. <clears throat> the economic fallout has been real and widespread, but with the benefit of perspective, we can say that some of the very worst economic outcomes have been avoided by swift and forceful action. And with that, the Federal Reserve made very clear it's not changing its policies. The pitching of stimulus to the American people has been a top priority among not just the White House, but other Democrats. And Chuck Schumer recently spoke to the two Georgia Democrats from the Senate about the issues of public sector hazard pay that comes in the third stimulus package. Let's hear their message. Smaller cities like Augusta and Savannah and Rome, they had to beg the governor for the help. Right. Now we are sending that help directly to those smaller cities and to counties and to towns in rural Georgia. And that's going to keep police and firefighters, EMS employed. It's going to keep vital public services going. And just to have the resources coming for our public schools is so huge. I also think this reflects a different governing philosophy where people think about stimulus, you know, bailouts for banks, tax cuts for the rich, tax cuts for corporations. Zero percent of these stimulus checks or tax credits go to the top one percent. This is investing in economic recovery by getting cash to working class and middle class people where it does the most good and where it's most needed. But there was this message. Late today, the president, press secretary, had to answer questions about stimulus and specifically the issue of, is the president doing something to pay for the next round of stimulus? Now, understand, the next round of stimulus is on the heels of the president reportedly last Friday telling insiders that he wants to pay $3,000 to every child age newborn to 18 for 18 years of their life.
to which the response is, how are you going to pay for it? Now, understand that $2,000 a month every month for six months, a stimulus is a lot less than what even the president's proposing. The Democrats, no less than a couple hundred of them in both the House and the Senate, want reoccurring stimulus checks that would pay more than hazard pay, pay more than FPC retro, and pay more than SSI and SSDI, about $2,000 a month for about six months. Well, the White House has asked about the situation in this video recording about whether the president is planning to, yes, raise your taxes in the middle of the pandemic to pay for his next stimulus package. Let's hear the shocking response on a video which got 2,000 down posts and only 22 upvotes at the time in which it was posted to YouTube. Uh, the president's remarks on taxes mm -hmm. uh, last night. Um, two things. One, when might we expect a, a major push on this? And two, what does small to significant mean? It depends on how much money you make. <laughs> Are you a billionaire? <laughs> then you may pay more in taxes than yeah. someone making, you know, family making 425. Um, you know, there's going to be a range in any uh, tax proposal. Uh, he talked about this on the campaign trail, and uh, his uh, he talked about it uh, during this interview last night, in part because it's on his mind about how to ensure uh, people are paying their fair share, uh, and that uh, we are looking for revenue funds to continue to build back better. Uh, but I don't have a timeline for you on when you'll hear more. It's just uh, something that he has long had a commitment to, and I expect in the coming months, or sooner than that, you'll hear more about his next stages of his agenda, but uh, this is certainly part of what's on his mind and what he would like to work with Congress on. Go ahead. What's interesting is that while on the campaign trail, the president would not delineate which tax bracket the president would subject to a tax increase. And recently, Elizabeth Warren introduced her standalone bill to tax super wealthy people, the wealth tax bill. And during the campaign trail, the president actually opposed it. So it's very strange that in this messaging, the White House's press secretary said that, well, you know, if you're very, if you are a billionaire, maybe you're going to get taxed more. That was actually the message counterintuitive to what the president delivered on the campaign trail. But is this how he's going to fund the four stimulus package? We will see. Is the president going to raise your taxes in the middle of the pandemic to pay for children for 18 years? We will see. But the big development is the stimulus check by direct deposit. Here is my message for you. Stimulus checks could land, still land tomorrow, and they could still land Monday and could still land Tuesday. First, number two, countless viewers, nearly all the viewers of this channel have yet to receive any direct deposits by Direct Express card. Number three, countless viewers on SSI, SSDI, and SSI have received deposits on different banks. It's not an independent, it's not a factor of that you're on benefits. It's a factor of which bank you do banking business with. Some have gotten with one bank, some have not gotten with another bank. Finally, there's a lot of questions about whether stimulus checks that are supposed to come by direct deposit may suddenly appear by paper check. My advice, just keep on looking everywhere. I'll be looking with you, and guess what? You are singly the most important information for us to know where things are. So in these live chats, tomorrow on mornings at night, noontime and afternoons at night, jump in there, tell me what you've gotten. Tell me what you haven't gotten. Tell me what bank you use. Has it arrived? When did it arrive? When time of the day did it arrive? All this information helps because ultimately your information for me is information I part for other, in part for other viewers. And across this board, this is how we grow as a family. When we share information that helps one another, we, sh we, we find the comfort of knowing that people in similar circumstances haven't gotten their stimulus checks or other people are looking through the horizon and wondering, when is my check coming? Because my neighbor didn't get theirs and neither did I get mine. It will be coming. I want you to stay positive as you go into the new day. Your stimulus check will be coming. I want you to remain motivated, positive, inspired, and keep a smile on your face. Never lose hope. As one person, Chef Roberto, said yesterday in a private message, I'm worried. I haven't received it by Thursday. I don't think I'm going to get it. No, don't do that, because ultimately the stimulus check is coming. It's just taking a little bit of time, 
And with that, thank you for joining me on a big evening to LA. If you've not subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Also, like this video. And join me next as Hazapay crashes in with the waves at 7 o'clock Pacific Standard Time, 10 o'clock Eastern Standard Time on Evenings LA.